My last couple of songs have taken the plots of Shakespeare plays um, and I've put them to music rather well, I thought. As you can imagine, I've been deluged with requests, um, never to repeat the exercise, but on the basis, I think there's still quite a lot of mileage in this dead horse, to mix a metaphor or two. Uh, here is um, a third Shakespeare play. On a dark winter's night, a ghost walks the ramparts of Elsinore Castle in Denmark's fair land. Bears a striking resemblance to the late King Hamlet, the cause of whose death we don't yet understand. Horatio brings the king's son, who's confusingly called Hamlet. The ghost says, your uncle Claudius has taken my life. He poured poison in my ear while I was sleeping and then married Gertrude, your mother, my wife. I think you'll agree that his actions were excessive. Murdering your own brother is a bit over the top. There's every chance you'll be next on the list, son. And there's only one thing to do to get him to stop. Something is rotten in the state of Denmark. Something smells fishy and I don't think it's fish. I want you to avenge me and kill off your uncle. Do this for your dad. Grant my post-mortem wish. Hamlet swears he'll avenge his father but doesn't act immediately and gets quite depressed. In fact, he goes crazy and starts soliloquizing and talking to skulls because he's so stressed. Polonius then enters and says Hamlet wants to marry his daughter Ophelia, which isn't quite true. Hamlet does fancy her, even though she's pretty flaky. But getting married right now is not what he wants to do. Traveling actors then come to the castle, and Hamlet decides to test Claudius out by putting on a play that mimics the murder prove Claudius killed his dad beyond doubt. At the part of the play where they reenact the murder, Claudius leaps up and goes off in the night. Hamlet then follows and is going to kill him, but finds Claudius praying so the time isn't right. Hamlet then visits Gertrude to comfort her and tell her the truth about what he is going to do. Polonius, for some reason, hides behind a curtain. Hamlet thinks it's an ambush, draws his sword and runs him through. Hamlet's sent to England with Rosencrantz and Guildenstern with orders to kill him, but he gets away Cause the ship he is travelling on gets attacked by pirates So he comes back to Denmark, it was his lucky day Ophelia goes bonkers, drowns herself in the river then her brother Laertes comes home in a rage. Claudius plans Hamlet's death with a sword dipped in poison in a duel with Laertes right there on stage. 
Just to make certain he also puts poison in a nice glass of Cabernet or maybe Merlot. So the scene is now set for the season's finale. The audience won't leave early, not from this show. As usual with Shakespeare, the last act is full of slaughter as all the major characters breathe their last breath. Hamlet is stabbed with the sword dipped in poison, and so is Laertes, so they both face certain death. Gertrude inadvertently drinks poisoned wine and makes choking noises as she turns up each toe. Hamlet stabs Claudius and just for good measure makes him take a big mouthful of the poison Merlot. Hamlet dies after Claudius and so does Laertes but just before they expire they get the news that Rosencrantz and Guildenstern have both been killed in England which is not what they'd expected from a Viking Line's cruise. As the curtain closes, every inch of the stage is littered with corpses in a blood-soaked vignette. Not really what you would call a happy ending, but if you come to see Shakespeare, that is often what you get.